Welcome one and all to The Basement, where once a month we invite one of the enormous pool of highly talented bands and musical artists we have here in the UK independent music scene to play a set of their original material and have a chat about their career to date and plans for the future. Before I introduce today's act, please take a moment to like and subscribe to the channel as it helps us widen the exposure we can give to these artists and keep running the streams for your entertainment. We in the basement pride ourselves on bringing you a wide variety of musical styles, and today is a first for us as we introduce a band who, quite accurately, describe themselves as a blitzkrieg of punge rock, the mighty Paranoid Alice. We'll be finding out a bit more about the world of punge when I have a chat with them in a little while, but for now, let's go live. I'm so bad, I'm scared 
Tokyo, thank you New York, thank you Sao Paulo, thank you Hawaii. I 
Not grunge, punch rock. You should 
Another new one called I Jump Puddles. I 
Welcome to the basement. Hello. Oh, thank thank you. How are you doing? How are you guys doing? Hot. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's pretty warm. I mean, you have quite any kind of enthusiastic stage show anyway oh. for uh, the kind of temperature that we've got here today. Yeah. It's a heat wave today, isn't it? Yeah. It's mm -mm. The, uh, it doesn't dissipate as the uh, as the place gets cool, as the uh, outside gets cooler either. Yeah. yeah. You bring us drinks, which is nice. Yeah. Well, that's something. <sighs> proper proper treatment here. Mm -mm. <laughs> so uh, it's been a great, great first set. Sort of good, powerful hard rock. <sighs> Do you want Thank to introduce yourself to the uh, people in the, uh, out front, our uh, audience, and we will uh, have a chat about what you do. Go on. Who are we, Fab? We're Paranoid Alice, and we play punch rock music. And this is Ryan, our new bass player. The quiet one. Yeah, the quiet, <laughs> mysterious one. I'm Fab, vocals and screaming. And this is Matt, Hi. our Looney Tune comedian. Drummer. And drummer, yes. <laughs> Everyone needs one, mm -mm. both a drummer and a Looney Tune comedian. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, cool. And so how long have you been guys been uh, been doing this? Uh, like two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah, is it? we've just started. Yes. Yeah. It doesn't show, you know. We spent two <laughs> days just writing songs all night long, and uh, yeah, and here we are. And here you are. Yeah, here we are. Phoning up, going. Can we do? A, can we do a stream? We've yeah, got, yeah. We've been around two weeks, and we've got a whole set of songs, which yeah. is prolific at the best of times. Well, we wrote twenty-four songs in two days, and then we recorded the album in about a day and a half. Uh, and, released, your... and released it a good year before you actually formed, mm, yeah. Yeah. which is quite clever now, I think, about yeah. it. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Ahead, of, ahead of the curve. Mm. We're a COVID band. We've been spawned by COVID. Right. So, if yeah, if it wasn't for COVID, we wouldn't exist, really. Okay, and, so, does, uh, and you've got through a few bass players in your time. Yes, yes. Yeah. How, how, are you, how is this working out for you, Ryan, at the moment? Um... Interesting. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. Do you feel that's like, like a legacy to live up to? Uh, not yet. All, all the other bass players are dead. Okay. Okay. One, one combusted, one had a gardening accident, and uh, I don't know what's going to happen to you. Uh, so far, so good. I'm keeping my eyes open. Lucky. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -mm. Third time lucky. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's not so bad for two weeks. But yeah, we move fast <laughs> in this band. So tell us about punge rock. Uh, well, it's the latest, you know, thing in rock music. So we've had grunge. Grunge is dead. So this is punge. So we play like punk and grunge and doo-wop and disco and psychedelic music. So that's what punge is. Put it all together, punge it up. Yeah, straight out of the box. That's what we come. And you've yeah. got you've got uh, quite a live a live following developing now as well. Uh, yeah, for your, for your show, your shows. Well, yeah, I'm surprised we haven't been sued uh, yet to tell you the truth from uh, our live shows. Let's but talk about uh, the last show. Oh, the last show, um, <laughs> uh, for the end, we always do something special. And for this one, I brought a load of pizzas and threw them out into the audience and smashed the guitar with the pizza box and stuff like that. Smashed a guitar with a pizza yeah, box? Yeah, with the pizza box. Pizza box is more resilient than I ever <laughs> It was it frozen, was. so yeah. <laughs> okay. and then so you threw frozen pizzas at the audience? Threw them out into the audience. Hit is like, audience yeah, hit, someone, hit, a, a, hit a pregnant woman in the eye with a pizza box. And uh, she was cool. You know, I brought uh, a couple of shots. 
And, uh, you know, she was drinking even though she was pregnant. And pizza, presumably. Yeah, yeah. And she got... Which is worse for pregnancy, alcohol or frozen pizza? Uh, food poisoning, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, but, uh, no, we enjoy smashing guitars. I know we get a lot of uh, a lot of hate from that, from, like, purists and violin players and things like that. But uh, what can you do, guys? We're going to keep... <laughs> the next guitar that I break, I dedicate to you guys, so... It's funny how that, it seems like, because guitar smashing has been around a while, it's amazing it still gets this sort of visceral, visceral reaction from some oh, part it, of the music community. Oh, these, these people that complain are stupid as well. They're always like, oh, Kurt Cobain invented guitar smashing. Like Ballsy did, you know, they've been doing it since the 1960s, so they don't even know what they're talking about. And we're going to keep breaking guitars, and we're going to keep smashing drums and basses, and it just, we enjoy doing it. As simple as that. <laughs> How does the rest of you take to the take to this uh, this uh, exciting show? I'm surprised at every gig. I don't know what's coming. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that, that's fairly truthful. Never mm. know with Fab. Yeah, yeah, it's, it doesn't seem it doesn't he, seem rehearsed. It he he says natural. we. It's, it's as much surprise to us as it is to the <laughs> I keep trying to get him to do it, but I don't know. I, I need to get you guys drunk. That's what I need to do. That sounds so scary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then stay in time. Or maybe that's going to go out the window. At that yeah, point, we, we, we managed to keep it together, though. You're like, it's loose, but we rehearse and we know the songs inside out. You know, it's a ele- very loud electronic, lots of feedback. That's what our shows are about these days. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And what about this album you've recorded? It's uh, available on Spotify. Check out uh, Paranoid Alice's uh, site there. Mm. Um, how did that come into being? Uh, I don't know. I'm really proud of the lyrics. Like a, a lot of the lyrics are like contradictions and juxtapositions. So we just write from what we, the fans and people send us artwork. We get lots of like drawings because everyone wants to know who is Alice. So we get lots <laughs> of interpretations. Someone from Brazil uh, sent me a, a drawing and it was horrific, like in a scary way. Oh, but we enjoy stuff like that. So, yeah, the album came about with all these experiences and the lyrics and things like that. Mental so, illness for the masses, it's called. Sorry, I should have yeah. mentioned that. Oh, yeah. In 2023, the world's just getting, you know, more and more out of control. So I do feel we all suffer from mental illness. It is just uh, the thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's kind of chic, isn't it, these days? It's, many a lyric has uh, confronted it as a thing. Mm, yeah. Well. So what else have you got going on uh, at the moment with your prolific songwriting? Uh, well, we've got a load of new songs that we're going to record for the second album at some point. Probably around Halloween time we're going to record it. And, uh, I mean, these guys are always up to new things and they inspire me, so mm. I don't know what else is going to happen. <laughs> we, we like playing strange gigs. We like playing... Like We got we played a gig uh, near Broadmoor, the mental institution, oh, wow. and that was fun. And, uh, you know, we play on rooftops like the Beatles and we like to, like make each gig like a really like a happening you know we don't want to just play a boring gig you know we like yeah, it to yeah, mean sure. something yeah and you're you've uh ryan just you're your keeper of the uh of the gig diary as far as i can tell <laughs> yeah so next month um 16th and 17th uh we've got a gig in leicester at the metal monocle hmm. uh and then the day after on the 17th we're playing nottingham fear fossa oh, so okay. very very beautiful venue Mm. Nice down by the canal. It is, yeah, next to the canal. Get yourself a drink, enjoy the sunshine. Mm. What do you think of Matt's shirt, by the way? Because it's, <laughs> look at that. That's, that's right. Sorry. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. It's, you, do you recognise the art? No, no. Yeah. I was going to say, it's very cheerful, but mm. it's cheerfully coloured. I don't think the pictures are actually that cheerful yeah. at all. There's hidden meaning in, in it, like <laughs> subliminal messages and things like that. Is that like very punch? I just like I'd say so. <laughs> <laughs> zoom in, zoom in on it when he's playing. You'll you'll see what I mean. Yeah. Cool. So we've got uh, yeah. Sorry, we just said album out, new material incoming. Yeah. Gigs on the horizon. Anything else that uh, for Paranoid Alice for the rest of the year? Uh, not really. Uh, we want to kill all these bands like the 1975. And there's loads of other great bands out there like Iodine and Cages for Preachers who just wipe the floor with all these mainstream rock bands. So, you know, they got nothing on us. And same with the enemy. You need to rip all that Cardi B shit and just put like punch rock yes. on the covers from now on. Everybody's had enough of that type of music. It's been, a, yeah, I mean, it wasn't long ago they were telling us that guitar music was dead, and now he seems to be like a, we, you know, here in the basement, we are uh, constantly being contacted by really exciting up-and-coming and, and uh, sort yeah. of guitar, guitar-heavy rock bands. Doing oh, yeah, yeah, we're going to do a duet with uh, Taylor Swift at some point as well. well. Who, who wouldn't? <laughs> <laughs> In fact, I think most people have, actually, by now. You'll, <laughs> it might yeah. be a bit of a cliche by the time you get around to it. Mm, yeah, yeah, true. 
Yeah, and the enemy, of course, is sort of back in print again, isn't it, after a, a, period, a period off. So they've got no excuse, really. Yeah, I wish it wasn't. <laughs> no, I want, them, I want them to go out of business. It was never my paper. Yeah, enemy, go out of business. We're tired of you. Kerrang, that's where it's at. Kerrang, is that still with us? Yeah. Q <laughs> Magazine's dead. Uh, okay. There's not many left, actually, is there? No, I was going to say, all the venues sort of closed over... Uh, over the uh, COVID period, so yeah. we suddenly find ourselves no magazines, no. Does anyone actually like music anymore? Are we, yeah. are we kind of barking up the wrong tree here with this? I wonder sometimes. Yeah. Cool. Well, it's uh, been great chatting to you. <laughs> we have the music. Do you want to uh, give us give us a second set? Yeah, coming up. Let's do it. Thank you for having us. See the future. This 
next song is about evil cult leader Jim Jones. Thank you, that's 
This one is our disco song. You dance to that, can't you? There you go. I'm gonna eat this guitar. Mark my words. This next song, I'm gonna eat it. In my coffee, and the world that is going broke. Never mind that you give yourself a concussion. Think you get a little uncomfortable. Sorry for saying, but I'm never uncomfortable. Let the bird is a god given right. My way of saying that you look out of sex. I was all happy last night. I was all happy last night. I was all happy last night. I guess, but I just desire. So drama getting off of these bitches don't blow their own noses. Cut the bullshit and start to pray. 
to worry about me This is still my favorite part So I was a happy last night Cause I was a happy last night Cause I was a happy last night Cause I feel You're a destiny child Getting. Half of these bitches don't blow their own noses Cut the bullshit and start to pray Don't worry about me cause you're still my favourite porn star I was not happy last night Trust I was not happy last night Trust I was not happy last night Trust Hey bitch! You're like Destiny's Child! I was not happy last night Trust I was not happy last night Trust I was not happy last night Hey, bitch, you're a destiny child I was a happy last night I was a happy last night I was a happy last night Hey, bitch, you're a destiny child I hope you're all dancing out there, world Thank you, this is our last song, we love you Paranoid Alice, Punch Rock forever See you soon Just a 
Once you've taken a moment to get your breath back, you can find more from Paranoid Alice on Spotify, YouTube and all of the usual places. Next month we will be changing the tempo somewhat as we welcome a superb folk group called Crazy Able, who specialise in local themes and tales of ordinary life. So with that, thanks for tuning in, and thanks to Paranoid Alice for rocking the basement, and we'll see you next month. Bye bye.